Good evening and welcome to Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community. We bring you trusted news and events that honor our rich South Asian culture and celebrate our vibrant community. I'm Nidhi Kuthuria, joining you from our ITV Gold studio in New Jersey. In the news this evening, Congressman Thanedar kicks off RP's 41st annual convention in Philadelphia. SRK's most ambitious film's preview takes the internet by storm. Stay with us on Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community for news and detail right after this short break. The 41st Annual Convention and Scientific Sessions of the American Association of Physicians of Indian Origin, API began in Philadelphia featuring keynote speaker Congressman Sri Thanedar, who praised Indian American physicians for their contributions. The convention served as a platform for networking, scholarly exchange, and the development of health policy agendas. <laughs> Happy President Dr. Ravi Kohli welcomed attendees and highlighted the organization's mission to facilitate excellence in patient care, teaching, research, and community affairs. Dr. Raghu Lola Bhattu, the chair and ECO of the convention, expressed the team's dedication to creating an engaging program for the annual event, emphasizing the efforts put into organizing educational activities and enjoyable experiences for families. The team, the EC, the executive committee, the board of trustees, the regional director, the past president, every one of you have given me some words of advice, some words of caution, some words of support, words of advice. Every time I ask, generally I don't reach out too much, that's my problem, but whenever I ask for help, you've always been there. So many people have helped me to be who I am today. So, so there are so many people, I cannot even name them. But I, among our own team of people, I have to sub, uh, name some people at least. Of course, I mentioned Raghu Vishweshwar Ranga, my BOT chair, has been a rock solid person, always been there for me, uh, with me for everything. He, is a, he has seen it all. He's been there for 25 years as a leader of RP, and now I invite, our BOD Chair, Dr. Vishwesh Ranga, to take stage and, uh, and help me feel more connected with everybody that is here. Thank you, Ranga, Anna, for your support, for your advice. Congratulations, Ravi. Great event, great entertainment, great food, and uh, friendship will last forever. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come here, stay here. And uh, I can go on and on, but I don't want to keep you waiting for next exciting event. We have so much happening here, and uh, I don't know where to stop or where to uh, start. I want to thank all the dignitaries that took time to come here from their very busy schedules at a short notice. I want to thank uh, Honorable Jackson, uh, Congressman Jesse Jackson for being here with us at a very short notice. Please give me a big round of applause. Thank you so much, uh, Congressman Jackson. We are so proud of you. And I want to thank Dr. Rahul Gupta, one of our own, and our OP member, now the Director of National Drug Abuse Policy under Biden administration is here with us. He has been so supportive. He has been so much um, involved with uh, con continuing the dialogue with the OP communi community, OP members. He's always been there for us. One phone call, he will answer. He will connect with us. And the one email, he responds. That's amazing. His office has been amazing. And then we have of course, yesterday, Gurudev Ravi Shankar is here. He blessed us with his kind, gentle touch and his uh, sermon and his meditation. That has been an amazing experience. He spent an enor enormous amount of time with us one-on-one, -on -one, individually, as well as group. So that has been a blessing. These are all unplanned. These are all happened in the last two weeks. Can you believe it? This convention, most of the things that happened, happened in the last two weeks. That's how we were blessed. And of course, I want to thank especially uh, Dr. Prem Reddy, who has been a solid 
big brother for all of us, Api family. He has been supporting us for year after year after year after. Without asking for anything, he doesn't even ask for a ride from the airport to the hotel. He doesn't even ask for a suite, nothing. Just unconditional support, unbelievable. There are very few people like that. Please give him a round of applause. He's not here, but you'll, you'll hear it in Thana Convention if you clap loud enough. So, and then of course, we have Dr. Rao Mova. He has been a big friend and a close associate of me and my family for many years, and he's always been there. If I need something, I'll call him. He'll say, what do you want? Go ahead, that's it. No questions asked. And then I have found a new friend, Dr. Sanat Chattopadhyaya. One phone call from one friend, Dr. Krishan Kalra connected me with Dr. Sanat Chattopadhyaya. He helped us so much through his, his, uh, his Merck company. Thank you so much, Dr. Sanat, uh, Mr. Sanat Chattopadhyaya. It's been a blessing to get to know you. You're so humble, you're so powerful, but you're so humble. You use your power and discretion very, very carefully. I can see that. And thank you, thank you for being with us. And I found new friends like Achintya, Jay Patel, Hethel Gore, all of them have been so supportive for me. And I have other people to thank. Kavita and Sanjay made it happen to begin with because we, we were struggling to find a venue. They made it happen. Kavita Gupta and Sanjay Gupta from local team, they did make sure the Philadelphia Convention Center and the Philadelphia Mayor's Office made this, so this venue available for us against all odds. So I have to thank them for that. Thank you, Sanjay and Kavita. And there are so many other people. So I don't want to miss anybody, but I want to congratulate Dr. Anjana Samadhar, the next president. She's a brilliant lady. She's a very brilliant lady. She's, we have grown to be very fond of each other now. We fought election, three elections, but we remained friends. Because elections happen, we don't have to hold any grudges. But she has been a sane, sage advisor for me all the time. She's, she has a strong mind, strong will, and she will prevail. And uh, she's a very strong person. So she will be very, she's very well organized. She will get things done very methodically. So I wish her the best year. I'll be always be there for you in any case or any time you need. Thank you. Thank you for your support. And my, and of course, she'll be coming next. So uh, Lata is very down to earth. I will come to her later. So anyway, I have to thank all my EC, every one of them have been rock solid support for me. Whether it's uh, Satish Katulai, like a younger brother to me, he's been there, he's so calm and quiet. He's an um, unbelievably calm person. I think he'll make another great president. And then Meher Medavaram, she is strong, strong-willed person. And uh, for some reason, I'm surrounded by strong-willed women. I don't know where they all, how they attract me into my life, but they're all strong-willed women. So, and then we have Sumul Rawal, very methodical, very, cal very good at uh, ma managing fi finances, our treasurer. And then every one of our regional directors have been fantastic in their outreach and outlook and out support for me. So everything has worked out very well. All my committee chairs have been fantastic. All the past president, whenever I call them, they're fantastic. All the BO past BOT chairs, when I call them, were fantastic. Everybody, every single one, every member, every webinar I attended who connected with me through them, became good friends. So it has been a fantastic journey. It has been a really enriching, empowering experience. Anyway, so I can go on. I don't want to bore anymore. So I don't know how much time I took. Anyway, I want to conclude here to welcome you and thank you and for the celebration we had. We had cooperation, collaboration, celebration. So the three themes I wanted to talk about, and it happened. You all cooperated, you all co collaborated, you all celebrated. I started, <laughs> I started my speech on Thursday, don't complain, criticize, or condemn. And none of you did that. You really heard me. You really heeded my word. Don't complain, criticize, or condemn. That's what Dale Carnegie said, right? So you followed it. And we're here to collaborate, cooperate, and celebrate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. During his keynote address, Representative Thanedar shared his personal journey, starting with humble beginnings in India and facing multiple denials of his application to pursue a doctoral degree in the United States. He proudly mentioned the honor of escorting the Indian Prime Minister to deliver an address to the joint session of the US Congress, highlighting his success as a businessman for Michigan. Good afternoon. Welcome to this grand celebration 
of RP's 41st Convention. On behalf of the United States Congress and all of its 435 members, I welcome you, congratulate you for all your success. And, and I thank you for the great contribution the Indian American physicians have provided. Your contribution, the hard work of our doctors in saving lives, their dedication for excellence in healthcare was never as important as during the period of COVID pandemic. The doctors and the healthcare professionals work so hard, work so hard in putting their own wellness and taking the risk, but ensuring that and making sure that lives are saved. And it is because of the ingenuity, the innovation of the United States that a COVID vaccine was invented and we recovered from this disastrous pandemic much quicker than otherwise. And we have, we must thank American innovation, the scientific innovations and the healthcare heroes. So let us give a big hand to the healthcare heroes of America and let us give a big hand to the healthcare, uh, the Indian American doctors' contribution to this a great success of the United States of America. So, first of all, I, I, my, warm, my team's warm welcome for you all for gracing this occasion. And uh, I hope you've been having a good time last three days. And I'm assuring, we're all assuring that we'll have a great time tonight also. So thank you again. And uh, thank you all our team. We've, we've been working for so long. So we have great programs going on. One thing I want to tell you, we have some proceedings. I know some of them, they probably, they might not be too much inter too interesting for them. But we do have to do those proceedings. Bear with us. And But we have great entertainment, great things coming up. Please bear with us, be with us. Thank you very much. The inaugural night featured entertainment sessions, including the RP's Got Talent contest and other cultural programs for the evening, like Baisak Jyoti Live, Garba, and Mehfile Khas. The 41st Annual Lapi Convention and Scientific Sessions concluded with Dr. Anjana Samadar assuming leadership as the new RP president. Alongside Dr. Samadar, other members took charge of various roles within the organization. My office, I need all of your help and prayers of each one of you. I ask for your encouragement and support. The tasks we face are very, very difficult. We can accomplish them only if we all work together. Each period has its special challenges. Those that confront us now are momentum. And any in the past are. Today marks the beginning, not only of a new administration, but of a period that will be eventful, perhaps decisive for us and all of our people. It may be a lot to experience and in a large measure bring about a major turning point in the long history of our people. My primary mission
is to give unfaltering support to the needs and problems facing each one of you, that is our members, the Indian American physicians. We will continue to search for ways to strengthen their authority and increase their effectiveness. I will work with all your support in making RP one of nation's leading lobbying forces regarding health care policies. I will work at forming the RP Code of Ethics, which will be the most comprehensive ethical guide for the physicians. Dr. Sudhir Parekh, a Padma Shri Award recipient, was also present at the convention. Hi, this is Dr. Sudhir Parekh, uh, recipient of the Padma Shri from Government of India. I'm a chairman of the ITV Gold and Parikhal Wild Media, as well as chairman of the Center for Asthma, Allergy and Immunology uh, in New York, New Jersey area. This, uh, this API convention is, this is the 41st API convention and I'm the, one of the uh, uh, member who, core group of the people who really uh, started and promoted API in the last 40 years. Um, I was former trustee of the API, as well as currently I'm a patron trustee of the API Charitable Foundation, and we are doing a lot of uh, good uh, CME activities, as well as we are uh, uh, doing a lot of philanthropic initiative back home, as well as in, in uh, USA. We are running the clinics and uh, running the, some hospitals and so forth. So uh, this is a convention, is very successful. A lot of good, old good friends are here today. And it's always nice to see the old friends and, uh, and uh, network with them and, uh, and, and put the um, uh, API into the uh, different light. So uh, again, uh, uh, API convention uh, is going to be a very successful uh, this weekend. And uh, we also uh, have a, something called, uh, organization called Global Physician of Indian Origin, which represents 57 countries and 1.6 million uh, Indian physicians out of India. And I'm being a vice president of the Global Physician of Indian Origin. Uh, I would like to invite all the uh, physician association to be part of the Global Physician of Indian Origin. Thank you. God bless, and I would like to congratulate uh, President, uh, API President, uh, Dr. Ravi Kohli, as well as uh, his team uh, for successful convention. This year we have very successful oh. API yes. convention, and here we are having uh, a lot of our old friends. There is a good uh, CME program, as well as uh, other educational program. And it is a great and congratulations to the team who arranged this convention. Shah Rukh Khan's upcoming film Jawan has created a massive buzz with its recently released trailer. The high octane action thriller promises an emotional journey of a man seeking to rectify societal wrongs. The captivating trailer showcases a perfect blend of action and emotion, featuring stunning visuals and a star-studded cast. Director Atlee's expertise and the impactful background score by Anirudh add to the excitement. With a grand-scale production and Shah Rukh Khan's versatile avatars, Jawan guarantees surprise, explosive action sequences and memorable music. Set to release on September 7, 2023, the film aims to captivate audience across Hindi, Tamil and Telugu languages. Tune in this Friday at 9 p.m. EST for the comedy film Fair Hera Fairy, starring Akshay Kumar, Sunil Shetty and Paresh Rawal, written and directed by Neeraj Vora. On Saturday at 1 p.m. EST, catch Ravina Tandon and Manoj Bajpai, crime drama Shul. And on Sunday at 3 p.m. EST, don't miss Savan Kumar's drama film Sotan, starring Rajesh Khanna, Padmini Kolapuri and Tina Munim.
Thank you for watching Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community tonight. We value your feedback and suggestions on community news coverage for both our television and print platforms. Please email us at events at itvgold.com. Stay connected with us on Facebook at ITV Gold and subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. You can also grab a free copy of Desi Talk at the Tri-State or Chicago region for news, entertainment and events. Check out the News India Times newspaper online at www.newsindiatimes.com or call 212-675-7515 to get a hard copy. Thanks for tuning in. This is Nidhi Kathuria signing off.